Hey, it is Sunday, September 2020. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Uh, ooh, last last uh, morning in Renton, really. Um, moving in three days. Yes. Are we panicking? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, but I think we're in pretty good shape. We got a nice little checklist of things to do, and some of them have been done. Um, we got our truck reserved. We got some moving help lined up. Uh, I'll pick up the keys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think the plan is uh, I'll get the keys tomorrow. Uh, pop in real quick. Activate the Wi-Fi. Yeah, see what's going on, that kind of thing. Christine's going to drive up Tuesday afternoon. Um, probably repeat the process, minus the whole Wi-Fi activation thing. Uh, just, you know, make sure that uh, everything's looking ship shape and uh, move a few boxes in. Then we'll drive, uh, drive back down here, spend the night Tuesday. And Wednesday morning's the big day. So grab the grab the U-Haul, get it loaded up. You know how this works. You drive to the new place and then you unload it. That's that's what we call moving. Um, so that'll happen on uh, Wednesday. So uh, if you'd like to send uh, any sort of good vibes or, uh, I don't know, coffee or something, um, starting Wednesday afternoon, uh, it'll be Bellingham, please. Uh, now you're gonna still be here in Renton for what, two weeks? Yeah. Or thereabouts. Something I'm gonna. On the floor or something like that. I'm gonna try and talk her into making Bellingham her base of operations, but we'll see how that goes down. Oh, well, it's just an extra 20 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes each way adds up. But you Hate know. The drive as it is. So we'll see what happens. But by uh, October 10th, I would expect that. Uh, oh yeah. You know. Well, actually, we're out of here the sixth. So. Yeah. By what? Three weeks? Something like that? Two weeks? Uh. Will be uh, Whatcom County, folks. Uh, so, uh, what happened this past week? Uh, more of the same, really. Um, Seahawks played, drove up through the smoke. Um, smoke, 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 smoke. <laughs> Air quality was just terrible until what? Really, about Friday. Uh, and then we woke up yesterday to clean air. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, so. Uh, let that be a lesson. I don't know what really the lesson is, but for one thing, I'm not going to take fresh air for granted. Yeah. Um, you know, plenty of trees. I think we're going to have 99% of the time it's going to be it's going to be fine. But I wouldn't be surprised if these summer wildfire smoke situations became the the new summer norm, at least for a while. So kudos to Christine here, who already had uh, several air filters on hand. Uh, ready to go to tape to the back of a box fan. It works. Yeah, it does work, and a lot of people were doing it, and a lot of people were panicked because they couldn't get the air filters, and uh, and we we had some. So hey, mm. and uh, huh. don't know what more to add about that other than I hope the smoke is done for the year, if not forever. But yeah, uh, for me the big highlight was the tacos. Yeah, so I went to uh, that the goofy little ATM thingy, gave me cash this time. Hooray. And um, after work, went over to the uh, to the taco truck. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try, but it was delicious. Holy moly! So I got uh, the taco street taco platter came with rice and beans, and then I added four extra tacos. So that was a total of seven tacos. <sighs> mm. It's about 13 bucks too. So that was awesome. Came with some free hibiscus water. That was good. Uh, they asked if I wanted some salsa. Of course, I want salsa. I got the salsa verde. Came with salsa verde, so I had four of those. It was just fantastic. A little lime on the carne asada. Ooh yeah. You ready to try some of these? Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, if that's the if that's the best tacos around, I found them. If there's better, <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> so good stuff. Um, after that, I mean, really, just kind of going to work, trying to stay away from the outdoors, and uh, counting down the days until until we're back together, like we are now. And now, unfortunately, I'm counting down the hours until I have to leave. Yeah, I know. Uh, but uh, we're walking. This is probably the last walk along the Cedar River Trail. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is probably the last walk along the Cedar River Trail. Uh, I have a hunch we'll move back to the Seattle area at some point in our lives. Mm -hmm. I don't expect to retire in Bellingham. <laughs> uh, but, you know, will we live in Renton again? Mm. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible. Um, I love this little trail, so even if we are in the area somewhere, I could totally see coming back. If nothing else, I'd love to see what they do with this uh, little uh, chain league fence enclosure area. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, checking on the trestle bridge once that gets maintained or whatever. I'm sure it was going to be exactly as it was before, just with some new, more solid elements reinforcing it. Uh, but, yeah, this is, this is it. So, um, as much as we kind of grumbled and griped about not having a good walking or running path, it, we really did. This was just fine. You know, get down here is a little bit of a of an annoyance, but um, you know, you can just go forever, really. So tough to tough to beat. Doesn't look like we have quite the same uh, action going on up there, but there's quite a few trails to uh, explore. Might be a little bit more of an effort to get there, um, and certainly some in town action that's capable of doing what we need to do. So no excuses. No excuses, got to get out there and get it going again. Um, but for, at least for today, going to enjoy the trail one last time. And maybe, maybe, maybe that bird will be there. <laughs> so if, don't tell the bird. But if the bird's there, I got my, I got my Fuji. Just in case. <sighs> well, anyway, let's enjoy the walk. And uh, we'll uh, catch up with you over in Heron Central. Ooh. This appears to be a bird-free pond. Bird-free pond. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the lesson is? I think there's two potential takeaways from all of this. One, uh, when you see a really cool bird, uh, just make a second trip. Go get your good camera. Get the photo, because he may not be there again. Even if you see him for seven solid days. <laughs> Shame on you, Farb. Uh, two, I'm going to go ahead and assume that uh, the heron might be in the area, but is insulted by my lack of reach on my 55 millimeter zoom lens here. Not even zoom. Well, it is a zoom. It's not really telephoto. Uh, so, clearly I need to get another lens. That's the main <laughs> takeaway from this moment. Your thoughts? Uh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah not, uh, not anything I'm going to do right away, of course. Um, bummer. It's kind of, that would have been a nice little way to wrap it up. Uh, but in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, is the bridge open? Well, wow. hot diggity. Um, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, feels like about a month ago now or more. Um, I was walking right along the stretch and I heard some dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> starts roaring, squawking. And, uh, yeah, there's a giant heron, uh, or maybe it's just a normal sized heron, but a big bird. Um, and I have some decent footage from back in that day, but I never got a good close-up. So here's, uh, here's a little of that action. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so for all you Heron fans out there, sorry I missed the, uh, the glamour shot, but at least I got a little action, a little action going. Cool. Well, hey, the bridge is open. Neat. What a treat. I that. Nope. I was totally expecting this to be sometime, uh, October-ish. Uh, so, clearly the thing to do is to cross the bridge and get our thumbnail shot from the bridge and say goodbye, Renton. So, we're going to enjoy the bridge. Catch you on the way back. All right. Hey, look at that. A little sunshine even. Um, good walk, you know. Nice to nice to see a familiar dog on the trail. I'm going to miss you, Scruffers. And uh, the bridge is open. Nice, nice treat. Um, got Christine by my side. Life is good. Bridge is open again. Cool. Um, yeah, so normally would probably say have a great week, etc. But we got one more thing that we need to do today. So um, we're going to get Katsu Burger for lunch. So yeah, why don't we just skip to the good part? I'm headed for Katsu Burger. All right, we got the burgers. We got the Katsu Burger. Yeah, woo woo. All right. Uh, hey, Katsu Burgers were amazing. Uh, the apartment is such a wreck. Didn't really want to film any of us eating because A, a little gross, and B, you know, who wants to see a messy apartment? But you'll get plenty of messy apartment footage next week because that's when we move. So I am at uh, Brown Bear Car Wash. Time to get the Mazda cleaned up. And this will probably be the last the Mazda sees of Renton. Uh, possibly, possibly forever. Who knows? Uh, but. I'm going to leave it here, and then we'll get started on next week's vlog, uh, which should be a little bit better. Um, at the end of it all, we'll be living in our apartment, at least I'll be living in the apartment in uh, Bellingham. Um, should have internet there, should have, uh, you know, washer, dryer, refrigerator, a bed, all kinds of fun stuff. Gotta earn it though, we gotta move this week, so 
that'll be probably the bulk of it, getting all the moving footage uh, figured out and uh, somehow watchable. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Uh, I'm off to Bellingham, where the air is much cleaner than it was when I left it. Catch you on the flippity. Sure why I like to sing about the car wash, yeah.